Hi folks, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiatorius. So I get asked a lot about where people can get good, sharp, replica sabres for test cutting with. And the simple answer is, very unfortunately, I don't think there are any really good, sharp replica sabres. I think fundamentally the antique sabres themselves, being relatively affordable, has meant that it's not economically viable for most companies to try and make replicas of those swords. You can buy fairly decent 19th century sabres, uh, and if you want, you can either get one that's sharp already, or you could make one sharp. Not that I necessarily condone messing with antiques, because I prefer not to do that. I think that they're artefacts and should be respected. Um, but fundamentally, anybody can buy an antique sabre from about £100 upwards, so relatively cheaply. Whereas if you look at, for example, a cold steel uh, made replica sabre, often you'll be paying more for a new one of those than you would be paying for an antique. So it's not a, an, a sphere of manufacturing within the sword world that's really economically viable, unfortunately. Um, however, I would say the cold steel sabres are okay. I've got some issues with them, but fundamentally if you really want a modern replica sabre for test cutting with, maybe a cold steel is a good option to go. Uh, and some of the models are better than the others. Apparently the latest generations of the 1796 light cavalry sabre that they make are fairly decent. They used to be quite clunky and balanced in the wrong way and so on, but now apparently they're better. Um, additionally, they've got a couple of, I know their uh, US Marine sword is okay, it's fairly light, um, and also the uh, Prussian, I think it's the 1852 Prussian cavalry sword, looks fairly decent as well. It's a pipe back one, that. Um, so, yeah, cold steel, uh, if you if you want a sharp replica sabre, might be the way to go. There aren't many other companies making decent ones. There are some Eastern European companies making replica sabres, but they tend to be, in my experience, quite heavy and overweight. Cheers, folks! Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and feel free to follow us on Facebook.